rather than give you guys individual um, written explanations, I wanted to create a quick video uh, to explain the solution to question uh, two on the written assignment. Uh, so in part A, W is the set of polynomials um, of degree two or less, since it's P2, um, for which the derivative of P at two is zero. And so we're supposed to verify whether this is a subspace. So remember, if we know that we're dealing with a subset of a vector space, which P2 is one of our standard vector spaces, um, and here we're looking specifically at the subset where of, of polynomials whose derivative at 2 is 0, um, we really just need to verify uh, three conditions to determine whether it's a subspace. Um, first is the 0 vector contained in um, this set. So the zero vector takes on um, different forms depending on the vector space. In uh, for a collection of polynomials, uh, the zero vector here. Yeah, I don't really want to use an equal sign here. Let me use a colon. Um, the zero vector in P two is um, just the zero, the zero function, the constant function p of x equals zero. That has degree less than two, uh, so it's in P two. And uh, the derivative of that function is zero everywhere. So certainly uh, the derivative at two would be zero. So the zero function, just any constant function, the derivative is zero everywhere. And so uh, this condition is satisfied. Yes, zero does belong uh, in W. Put that. So the zero vector in this case is an element of W. Uh, second condition, we need to determine whether it's closed under addition. Uh, so if, if we um, assume, so I'm going to write suppose P1 and P2 are elements of W. That implies that the derivative of P1 at 2 and the derivative of P2, when we plug in 2, those are both equal to 0. Then, if we take uh, the sum of those two polynomials, take the derivative at 2. Well, one of our properties of the um, derivative of a function is when we take the derivative of a sum, we can take the derivative of each uh, part of that sum individually. So p1 plus p2 prime is equal to p1 prime plus p2 prime evaluated at 2, which since p1 is in W, then the derivative at 2 is 0. Since P2 is in W, the derivative at 2 is 0. And so the der derivative of the sum at 2 is 0. So this shows uh, that P1 plus P2 then would also be uh, an element of W, because the derivative uh, at 2 is 0. Also, I guess um, I haven't. Uh, talked about the fact that so if we add two, any two polynomials of degree 2 or lower, then the sum will have degree 2 or lower. We're just adding. If we were multiplying, then that would be a different story. You multiply a 2 degree polynomial uh, times a degree 2 polynomial, you have degree 4. But when, if we're just adding, we've got a squared term plus another squared term that just results in, in a, a squared term. No higher power. Um, okay. Does it, uh, is it closed under scalar multiplication? That's the last thing we need to check. So again, let's suppose uh, that this polynomial P is in W and um, that C is just any real number. So the question is, is it closed under scalar multiplication? So does C times P belong in W? And uh, let me go ahead and write. So since P be it belongs to W, then the derivative at 2 of P is equal to 0. OK, so then we need to look at the derivative of the scalar multiple c times p at 2. Um, again, using properties of the derivative that you learned in calculus 1, um, a scalar, the derivative of a scalar times a function is just equal to the scalar. We can just pull the scalar out, c uh, times the derivative of the polynomial p, which this would be c times 0. So this is 0, which means, yes, any scalar multiple of a, of a polynomial in W will belong in W, so it's closed under scalar multiplication. 
So the answer here is yes, this is a subspace. We, we verified the three conditions. Now quickly with part B, if we change this, if, the, if we need the derivative, if we require that the derivative at two is one, then actually all three of these conditions will fail. Um, okay, so start with that first condition, the zero vector, which like I stated above, in, in P2, the zero vector is just the constant zero function. Well, the derivative of that function at any value is zero, not one. So w does not contain uh, the zero vector. So already, um, it's not a subspace then. The answer here would be no, and that would be sufficient to answer this question. Um, but just to give a little further explanation, um, so, uh, to be clear, you could stop here. If there's no zero vector, it's not a subspace. End of story. Um, but just to show you, also, if we say that P1 and P2 are elements of W, which in this case, in part B, means that P1 prime at 2 is 1 and P2 prime at 2 is 1. Well, then if we take the sum, P1 plus P2, Take the derivative at 2, that's going to be p1 prime at 2 plus p2 prime at 2, which now that's 1 plus 1, which is 2, not 1. So p1 plus p2 does not belong in W. So it's not closed under addition. And similarly, if we do um, a scalar C, times a polynomial in W, take the derivative at 2. That's going to be the scalar C times P prime of 2, which is going to be the scalar C times uh, 1. So we get C, and this is where C is any number. So there are a lot of cases where this is not 1. Definitely the scalar C is not necessarily equal to 1, so it's not closed under scalar multiplication either. So B, this is definitely not a subspace. Uh, part A, this definitely is a subspace of the uh, degree two polynomials.